Today, I'm gonna to show you the six things that you need to learn if you wanna become a better digital marketer, make more money, and create more effective and more profitable campaigns. There are also a few very dangerous and very expensive marketing mistakes that you definitely wanna avoid at all costs that I'm gonna be warning you about as we go along as well. So make sure to pay careful attention because you don't wanna make the same mistakes that I did when I was first getting started. So in order to become a better digital marketer, the first thing you need to do is master marketing strategy. If you get this wrong or ignore it altogether, it doesn't matter what you do next, because nothing's going to work. For example, one of the most common mistakes that new marketers make when they're trying to come up with a marketing strategy is that they tend to think of a platform first, like TikTok or Instagram or YouTube or Facebook. Then they think of what they should say or what kind of content they should create. Then they post it. And when nothing happens, they get frustrated and blame the platform or their audience or marketing in general. But doing it this way is completely backwards not to mention a total recipe for disaster. And this isn't the way that professional marketers create campaigns. So it's definitely not the way that you should be doing it either. You see, what professional marketers do is they start at the end and they work their way backwards. Reverse engineering the perfect plan that makes sure you're doing the right things in the right place for the right people in the right way. And this is where using something like the Marketing Master Plan comes into play. I originally created the Marketing Master Plan as a way to help my clients get better results from their campaigns, but I quickly realized just how valuable and powerful this system was. So I started teaching it to my students and now I'm excited to get to share it with you. There are five core parts to the marketing master plan and it all starts with the model. The very first thing you wanna do is identify your business model, your offer or whatever product or service you're gonna sell. This is because marketing is done and won one single offer at a time. Most entrepreneurs do way too many things at the same time and end up getting nowhere. Master selling one thing first and don't spread yourself too thin by trying to do too many different things all at the same time. Next is market, which is about identifying your perfect target market. The kind of people that you like working with most and that are willing and able to pay you for the true value of what you're selling. Once that's done, you can then work on the message. This is all about coming up with a language that speaks directly to your perfect fit customers. For example, if you sell, I don't know, uh, pet rocks. Yeah, it's a thing. Well, you're not just selling a rock. You're selling a lifelong oh. companion, a friend that'll be there when you need the most, someone to talk to, someone to hold. Not to mention, you don't have to clean up after it. Take it for walks or take it to the vet when it gets sick. The point is, you're rarely selling a thing. Rather, what you're selling is the benefits and the outcomes and the results that someone will get from that thing. Okay, next comes media. Media is all about identifying and locating where your ideal customers are present and active online. This is because you want to identify where they spend their time so you can go there rather than expecting them to come to you. Because the whole build it and they will come thing, well, it's nothing more than a field of dreams. It sounds obvious, but the reality is people can't buy from you if they don't even know you exist. So your job is to get in front of as many relevant people as possible. After that comes the machine. The machine is all about your marketing funnel. In order to succeed, you need to map out your entire customer journey from first introduction all the way through to someone making a purchase from you and every step in between. In other words, making a plan for how you're going to attract customers in the first place, how you're going to engage with them, how you're going to convert them, and how you're going to retain them over time. And that last step, the whole customer retention thing, is one of the most important and yet equally overlooked principles of them all. This is because the studies show it can cost up to five times more to acquire a new customer rather than just retaining an existing one. And increasing your customer retention by just 5% can lead to an overall increase in profits by 25 to 95%. So once you've got your marketing strategy down, the next thing is to work on your content marketing, which as any good digital marketer will tell you is one of the most valuable and important skills you can have. Every marketer on the planet knows that content is everything because everything is content. From the posts you make, to the ads you write, to the podcasts or videos you record, it's all content. Which means if you wanna succeed in marketing today, you need to be able to create, or at the very least identify what good content really is. And I promise it's gonna be a whole lot more simple than you may have been told before. Good content is content that your customers like, period. It's not what you like or what your friends like or what your family likes or what anyone else likes. Unless they're giving you money in exchange for products or services, their opinion means nothing. In fact, their opinion means less than nothing, and in some cases can actually do more harm than good. Let me give you an example. Have you ever seen the Squatty Potty ad? This is where your ice cream comes from. Oh. The creamy poop of a missing unicorn.
It's a clever advertising campaign that got over 40 million views and helped make the company over $164 million. But not everybody liked it. In fact, some people found it offensive and disgusting. But that's okay. Not everybody has to like it because it's not for everybody. And that's the key with content. You need to keep it focused on your customers and focused on the people who are most likely to buy from you. It's what they think that really matters. And everybody else is welcome to have an opinion, but you don't need to listen to it. So having the ability to create compelling content that educates or entertains or does some magical combination of both is really important. But you also need somewhere to put this content so people will actually see it. And this leads me perfectly to the next digital marketing skill that you definitely want to have, and that is social media marketing. Social media marketing has almost become interchangeable with digital marketing. We're not all the way there yet because there are obviously other parts of digital marketing like SEO and SMS marketing or text marketing, not to mention email, which we've got to talk about in just a second. But still, you ask most people out there what they think digital marketing is and you're likely to hear something like Facebook or Instagram or some other social media platform. This is because social media is now just part of our everyday life. Now, as a marketer, you can personally choose to use social media as much or as little as you like, but professionally, you better be there a whole lot or find someone who can. This is because the average daily social media usage of internet users worldwide was 147 minutes per day, which is basically two and a half hours every day. Now, what channels or platforms to focus on is gonna come down to your business, your market, and your industry, but the big players right now are YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. So start there and see if you can find your people. Then once you do, it's time to work on the next skill, which is designing a customer journey or a sales process that'll take them from having no idea who you are all the way through to becoming a lifelong and loyal customer. Or in other words, you need to learn how to build an effective marketing funnel. A marketing funnel, also known as a sales funnel and sometimes as a customer journey, is really just a visual representation of all of the steps that someone would have to go through from having no idea who you are all the way through to becoming a lifelong and loyal customer that loves you, loves what you do, and wants to tell everyone about just how great you are. Now, depending on your business and your overall marketing strategy, a marketing funnel could be as simple as just sending someone from an ad to a sales page where they buy or don't. Or it could be a hyper complicated Franken funnel with more steps than the Burj Khalifa. Fun fact. Did you know the Burj Khalifa has 2,909 stairs? All that said, if you're just getting started with marketing funnels, you really can't go wrong with this simple framework. Step one, create some kind of free content to show to your audience. Step two, offer more tricks and more tips and more helpful advice through the use of a free downloadable PDF, guide, or cheat sheet. And step three, follow up with email marketing in order to make offers for whatever product or service or offer that you're selling. Of course, one of the key components of this marketing funnel comes down to the next step and the next skill that you definitely want to have, which is none other than email marketing. Yes, email marketing. I know, I can almost hear the groans now. Email marketing. Today? Are you kidding me, bro? Give me something cool like AI or VR or NFT. Here's the deal. I love new and shiny just as much as anybody, but you know what I like even more than that? Money. And when you do it right, email marketing makes money. So let me show you how it's done. Email is still the preferred form of communication among most people, including millennials and Gen Z. Now, social media is important because most people use social media, but email marketing is mandatory because everybody uses email. Not to mention email is a much more conversational and much more intimate platform and gives you a ton of power to make a lot of sales very quickly. All that said, email is also one of the trickier tools to master. And there's one mistake you definitely want to avoid. And that is you want to avoid sending marketing emails that look like marketing emails. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Those overly designed HTML emails with banners and images and embedded videos and coupons and all kinds of things that just scream marketer. If for some strange reason, this kind of email makes it past your customer's spam filters, well, there's no way it's making it past their BS filter. So write your emails conversational as if you were sending them to your best customer. And if you'd like a quick tip that can make your emails immediately more effective and ultimately make you a whole lot more money, try this. The next time you're thinking about sending a marketing email, send Send it as a plain text email only. That's right, no fancy banners, no fancy graphics, just good old fashioned words on a page. This is how I've been doing my email marketing for almost a decade now, and it's been phenomenal in regards to my results and for my clients and students who adopt this strategy. Now, sending emails is one thing, but knowing how those emails are performing, not to mention all of your other marketing activities, well, that's another thing altogether. And this is why the next skill that you need to master, or at the very least, get a decent grasp on is data and analytics. Full disclosure, I never used to consider myself much of a numbers guy when it came to marketing. 
I was always more on the creative side, coming up with ideas and putting them out into the world. You know, things like filming for different ads or editing videos, writing sales pages and emails and designing social media marketing campaigns. But then something happened, something that changed my life forever. I realized that I was doing a ton of work, but I had no idea what was working and what wasn't. In other words, I was getting clicks and calls and customers and sales, but I had no idea where they were coming from or what I was doing that was actually attracting them in the first place. Sure, I could have just kept on doing what I was doing and continued to get decent results, but let's be honest, it's not a very smart approach. After all, it doesn't take a genius to realize that some of the things I was doing were probably responsible for most of my results, while other things I was doing were probably a complete waste of time and energy and money. But I had no way of knowing what was working? What wasn't? That was until I finally started tracking my most important marketing metrics. And since that day, I've never looked back. Now I appreciate that's a whole lot to cover. So I've got two suggestions to help you put all of this together. The first is to check the descriptions below this video for information on the Digital Marketing Academy, which is going to set you up for complete digital marketing success. And the next suggestion is to check out the video that I've got linked up right here on digital marketing strategy. So make sure to check it out now and I'll see you in the next video business. But for them to refer you, they need to know what you do. After all, people can't buy from you if they don't know that you exist. Or in this case, people can't buy from you if they do know you exist, but don't know that you have a business. I learned this lesson personally years ago, 